Hello guys, Zephyr Dimension here, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Legends. When we left off we were just about to fight Lieutenant Surge, so let's go for it. Probably won't go too well, but we can at least see what we're up against. If we beat him, it'll be the first gym leader we've beaten for like half the game, so... In fact, I think we've lost more gym leaders than we have actually beaten any. Leading with Hitman Top, that is level 52. Why? I should have led with Trevor. Confuse it, see if we can get this one working in our favour. It would be amazing if it did. Hooray! It's not major damage, but I'd rather it was damage on him than me. How does this actually do against it? Uh, slightly better than it does to itself. Fair enough. Okay, confusion when you're going to dig is very handy. Gives you two chances to mess it up. Oh, thank you for breaking up confusion. Won't survive this. No chance. Or maybe just barely. Ignore what it says. Actually, I should have confused it again, but it might dig again, so... But then I... Oh, I don't know. I was too eager to hit it after surviving. Oh well. So let's switch to... Uh, oh. I think we might have to take the hit here. I really don't want... Trevor getting damaged and everything else will probably die to this. So Grey wins. If I'm going to have any chance of beating this thing, it was unfortunately a necessary sacrifice. I'm not sure if she'll one shot it, but. Okay, that's good. Can probably heal most of that off. And it's doing that instead of dig, which would be a lot better to be honest, but I'm not complaining by any means. Oh, come on, you can't give me that. Okay. I'm very glad it stopped with a rolling kick, for some reason. Not what I would have done, but... I'm glad the gym leaders are starting to take pity on me. What else do you have? Primeape. Okay, Trevor has a good track record against those. Let's pit these against each other. Psychic. Ouch. Didn't want it to do that much. But it is level 53. And as long as I do half damage, that's absolutely fine. In fact, I probably should have stocked up on a few super potions before this, but... Oh well. If I win, it'll make it even more epic, I suppose. Prime Apes down. Trevor levels up. And all is going... Okay, so far. Masham. Who will go against my champ? Um, let's give Ochu a go. Might have been better to go with Blooper, but let's just see what we can get out of this. Not a lot. Okay, Cross Chop has a habit of missing, which is a good good sign. Including its encounters with previous Machamps, I mean. Now I've got Poison going for us as well, which is doing equal damage as Mega Drain, so we're sort of doubling our input here. Always good. And Cross Chop finally hits, and it'll probably do a ton. Yep, but at least we got... Oh, thank you, Critical. 
we've got a poison out of it, so... Now I believe we can go in. I'll probably reserve strangles for healing turns on Trevor. Because I don't think strangles are going to do a great deal by herself. Earthquake, I definitely could have done without. Definitely. Any chance of a critical? I doubt it, but it would be very nice. Darn it, so close. If I had Grey Wind, I would still use I would use Quick Attack against this thing, but alas. Okay. Oh no way are you gonna do that. Oh, oh no, if I'd stayed alive, I could have... It would have poisoned to death. Darn it. Okay. Um, well, we've still got poison on our side, so that's something. At least didn't fall this door. Um, do I have a max potion? I do have a max potion. I also have a hyper potion, which I'm more inclined to use. Uh, yeah. I doubt with this team there'll ever be many instances where a uh, max potion will take precedence over a hyper potion, but it's nice to have the option. Okay, go Trevor. Starting to look less likely that we're going to beat this guy, but we'll have to give it all we've got, I guess. After poison and the special defense drop, next hit should be to it. If we survive, thank goodness. Hooray. Okay, switch out and heal, I think. Uh, what have you got? Him and Lee. Strangles might not do so well against this anyway, but... We need the healing and that's that. Max Potion, go. Please don't spam double teams, that's what ruined my encounter with Brock. Uh, Iron Tail. If things go bad, we can put up a Sandstorm later on. At least this thing will get hit by a Sandstorm. Oh, nice. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, brilliant. <laughs> oh, counter again. Thank you. Brilliant. Okay, I'm glad this is going my way. I don't know why I was doing counter. It wouldn't have... If I did hit it, it wouldn't stood a chance. Okay, underestimating strangles, clearly. Beating one of his things without taking damage is a major achievement. Polyrath, I may as well stay in full, because we're going to end up fighting it anyway if we lose Trevor. Oh gosh, sir. I forgot. I should really have known. At least not to wish we still had Brock. Is this going to be a... another situation as was, as, was, as was with the real Brock, and uh, lose on the last Pokemon? It seems likely. So now we're having the two max poly evolutions pit it out. This is rather epic. We've got the super effective on our side, but he's got the level advantage, by far. One critical could call it. He's doing so much damage that a ma well, max potion might be worth it. Okay, we'll survive this. One more sidekick, we might actually do it. We might be a gym leader. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, gosh. Come on, come on. Please do not miss. Whatever you do, do not miss. Are we going to do it? By the skin of our teeth, we actually did it. Oh, wow. We actually beat a gym leader. For the first time in literally as long as I can remember. Wow. I, I, I wasn't expecting to beat him at all, especially when I saw the five Pokemon. And he didn't give me a TM. Give me a TM. Curse you. Okay. <laughs> I'm just happy I beat him. Happy enough at that. Which gives us our seventh gym badge, maybe? Or sixth? I can't quite remember. But, uh. I mean, I guess that's not a lot out of like 14 gym leaders we've fought, but. I'm happy. Happy with that. Things are finally looking up. Amazing. Team is clearly getting stronger, or I'm learning how to use it properly. Oh gosh, no. No, I'm not prepared. Well, I fought your Mount Moon phase. Hopefully this is slightly weaker, maybe? Hopefully. You've only got three. That's a good sign. Okay, but you have got an Edo King. Level 53. To be honest, that's not much worse than what Lieutenant Surge had. I really should have remembered this was coming, but... That critical was very, um, annoying. We're six against three, so even if we lose Grey Wind, which we probably will, bearing in mind it's our, you know, we're suffering from lack of knowledge of what each other's first Pokemon is, I still think we can win this without too much trouble. Past Nido King went down to a couple of serves. Hopefully this one will as well. Bearing in mind his last Nido King I saw was 16 levels lower. Or thereabouts. But that still did an awful lot, so I'm pleased. Although we probably won't be using Trevor again after this. But at least we took out one of his Pokemon. Watch out of Sand Slash now. I bet he does. And then I'll be like, why didn't I keep Trevor? So many other Pokemon that could have taken out that Nidoking, King, but... Meganium. Okay, Trevor would have sucked against him. Well, wouldn't have held on too long anyway. Blooper, however, I'm a bit more confident in. I really shouldn't be using the Pokemon that are already high level, but... I'm not going to lose to this. No way. I'm on a win streak. If we can beat Lieutenant Surge and this guy, then I'm really pleased. And why does every everything seem to use safeguard, even the super-powered things? I've never really thought it that useful a move. Come on, one more of these and we're good. Synthesis, I didn't want to see. But we might still pull it off, I think. It didn't heal an awful lot. Synthesis isn't the best recovery move ever. Hooray. And you are going to finish off with Sand Slash, as I thought. Okay, let's send an Ochu against it. He needs experience anyway. It's level 55 though. Levels in this game are getting ridiculous now. Oops, oh no, I thought that was... Curse you, I didn't mean to actually... Poison it. That would be the benefit of safeguard. Darn it. Get a few Mega Drains and hopefully we can still pull this off. We'll hopefully heal out the damage it's done anyway. Okay, should be three of those. And, yeah, pretty much healed out the damage. So 
Sandstorm's doing a fair bit, but I don't really care about that too much. One more of... Oh no, two more of these, rather. But unless it does something really out of left field, I think we're going to make it quite comfortably as well. I'm starting to feel a bit more confident about this team now. This will be known as the episode where I got optimistic about things. I'm almost looking forward to getting Fly and taking on all the other gym leaders again, and like getting my revenge against all their Pokemon. Because Pokemon's all about revenge, by the way. <laughs> Hooray, you didn't stand a chance. So you'll run off, even though this is kind of out of your... Your timeline's kind of messed up, because I've technically beaten you for the final time, but... And you've got rid of a lot of Pokemon, but... Let's just, like, overlook that. And Mum Calls. Nothing interesting. Typical stuff. Okay, I think on that note it is probably wise to leave it there. I'll go and heal off screen and when we come back we'll head down this route for whatever lay beyond. So I'll see you then for that. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye for now.